Hey, Troy, did you know it's an election year? I'm so glad that we live in a country that gives each and every one of us the opportunity to participate in the selection of our leadership. But what if I really like a candidate and I want to show my support and wear my stuff? Well, I mean, that's great. There's a lot of ways you can do that. Does that mean I can wear my shirt, hat, pin supporting my candidate to work? Well, Horizon Goodwill believes our diversity makes us stronger. We want to be an inclusive workplace that celebrates our differences, even when we have differences of opinion. So there's a lot to think about before you do something like wear a candidate's hat or have a slogan as your screensaver on your computer. We have to think about people around us, too. And, you know, we want to think about how people feel. Politics has become really divisive um, and really personal in the last few years. Everybody has their their beliefs and their people that they support. And whether it's an intentional or not, we communicate our political views in the workplace, and that can lead to a less inclusive environment instead of a more inclusive environment. Well, Tammy, that's, that sounds really important, but I think we really need to get down to the legality of how all that works. And to kind of give us a heads up on that, we've invited Bobby, who's our Vice President of People and Culture here at HGI. So, Bobby, what are the legal ramifications and what are the legal parameters that we must stay within because of our nonprofit status? Hey, Troy and Tammy, absolutely. So as a federally registered nonprofit, uh, the IRS actually regulates what we can and can't do politically. And what they say is that we are absolutely prohibited from directly or indirectly participating in or intervening in any political campaign on behalf or in p opposition to any candidate for elective office. So if a customer or a person we're serving interprets political conversations happening in the workplace um, or sees clothing supporting a candidate uh, and interprets that as HGI endorsing that candidate, we're at legal risk of losing our nonprofit status. And what does losing our nonprofit status mean for us as a company? So that means that we'd lose our CARF certification, we'd lose our ability to, to apply for and get grants. Any programs that we currently have that are grant funded would be in jeopardy of losing those funds and kind of the, the tap being turned off at that point. And grants are a really big part of how we're able to provide a lot of the community services. Absolutely. And then it would also change the perception of who we are as an organization in the communities we serve. People that see us endorsing or perceiving us to endorse political candidates, right? That person that came in, saw the t-shirt, heard the conversation, where's the first place they're gonna go to complain about that? It's gonna be Facebook or social media, mm -hmm. X, something like that, right? And then people that don't hold the same political views are gonna stop shopping at our store, stop using our services. That'll also impact how we're able to help the communities that we serve. Wow, so there's a lot of ramifications that could come just from wearing a political shirt to work. So. Mm -hmm. We need to be careful, y'all. It's good to have your own opinion. It's good to support uh, what you believe in. But basically, um, it's best to leave our politics at the door. Conversations mm -hmm. may still happen. And if they do, just remember to be open-minded, compromising, and try to end the conversation as soon as possible because we're really supposed to be working. Nip it at the core in leaving politics at the door. By not, you know, wearing politically charged things, putting them at your workstation. Out of respect for yourself, your coworkers, your family, your friends, your community, and for respect for the nonprofit organization that HGI is and the services that we provide to our community, please don't wear it and don't say it while you're at work. Thank you. But you know what? See you next time.